My name is Stephen Promnitz. I'm the Managing Director of Lake Resources. We trade on the ASX as LKE and on the OTC as LLKKF. And we're focused on clean lithium extraction from brines in South America. Lake Resources operates in Argentina. We've got four projects there, one of them of world-class standard. We're in the process of finalising a definitive feasibility study, closing off finance to initiate production there in 2024 and construction indicatively at the end of this calendar year. And we're going to be one of the largest lithium producers in South America at 50,000 tonnes per annum lithium carbonate. And we're targeting going to 100,000 tonnes per annum by the end of the decade by developing one or two of our other projects, all lithium brine assets in the lithium triangle. So we, although we're ASX listed, we have a small team, board and uh, senior management in Australia. Everybody else is in Argentina. It's a team of about 150. It's led by a brilliant uh, chief operating officer called Gautam Paramu. He's developed uh, large resource projects in South America for the last 25 years. And then he's ably supported by the finance team and the technical team. We've been gradually arming that up, but the idea is being to get that Argentina team ready for construction and then moving into production. Uh, so it's actually pro progressing quite well. This calendar year, we're now expanding our exploration team so that we can get the next project up the curve. Uh, so first of all, our flagship Kachi project, as I mentioned, is finalizing a definitive feasibility study environmental and social impact assessment. That's so it can trigger a long-term debt financing with the UK government, the Canadian government, and a couple of banks. And we're currently also finalizing discussions with offtake partners, including Ford Motor Company and Japan Inc, headed up by Hanwha. Once we get into production, then we'll be producing a high quality product, pretty much unparalleled in the industry, with major ESG outcomes. And that's why we've been able to attract the interest of global banks and uh, global offtake partners. Then we aim to develop our next projects called Kalchari, Oleros and Paso. They're a little further to the north, but also lithium brine projects. They're still at the exploration stage, but we aim to get at least one of them to resource stage and pre-feasibility study by the end of this year or early next year. And as I said, the aim is to become a top three global lithium producer by the end of this decade. The key message is simply this. If you're looking at somewhere to invest in these rocky times, lithium is a great place to go. Why? Because it's mandated. Whatever, whatever lithium company you're going to invest, it may have some lumps and bumps, but it's going to do well. For Lake Resources in particular, we're the only company that produces a consistent high quality product that the end user wants. Do that with a major ESG uh, benefit, orders of magnitude improvement. We're virtually fully funded, albeit indicatively, into production with long-term low-cost debt as, as a protection against interest rate rises. And we've got a team there to deliver that and then the next project backed by some of the biggest players in the globe. And one to one, as always, what you've got here is people who are looking for alpha, people who are looking for major return, not just a few percent, but orders of magnitude or, um, you know, a two to five bagger. This is still a place to come uh, to find those uh, focused specialist resource funds, um, uh, generalist funds who are looking for something to add to their portfolio. And that's always what one to one delivers.